What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. Downton Abbey 3 has yet to be confirmed, and Hugh Bonneville is unsure whether it'll happen. I thought for a while there might be enough energy to do a third one, but I suspect that's not the case. In August 2022, he told Radio Times, I think we've probably quit on a high. However, creator Julian Fellows has always been open to the ideas of more films and is equally content if Downton Abbey, a new era, marks the end of the series. The truth is, he said in May 2022, if they want more and the cast wants to do more, I'm sure we'll find a way to deliver more. But I don't mind if it runs its course. I think that's also fair. Given that it has yet to be confirmed or cancelled, it appears that all bets are off when it comes to the series' future. So in the meantime, here's what we know about a possible Downton Abbey 3. The following is a possible release date for Downton Abbey 3. When could Downton Abbey 3 be out in cinemas? Downton Abbey 3 has not been officially confirmed, so no release date has been set. The first two films were released three years apart, though some of the time was lost due to the COVID pandemic. If a third is confirmed, we can better guess when it will be released once production begins. Who will return for the third season of Downton Abbey? Before we get into who might return for a possible third installment, we should once again warn you about spoilers so you don't watch the video if you haven't seen the sequel. Maggie Smith will not return because the Dowager died at the end of the sequel, which has been teased since the end of the first film. Never say never to a flashback, but she doesn't appear to be returning for a third installment. Despite a brief illness scare, Cora was quickly offered treatment and a favorable prognosis, allowing Elizabeth Govern to reprise her role as Robert Crowley alongside Hugh Bonneville. Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary Talbot, along with her sister, Lady Edith, played by Laura Carmichael, would be an obvious return as the captain of Downton. Other family members and extended family to expect include Samantha Bond as Lady Rosamond Painswick, Alan Leach as Tom Branson, and Tuppence Middleton as Lucy Branson with her new baby, which we can only assume will be named Violet after the now-dead Dowager. Penelope Wilton will play Isabel Gray, Douglas Reith will play Richard Dickey Gray, Harry Hayden Payton will play Herbert Bertie Pellman, Edith's husband, and Imelda Stoughton will play Maud. Wilton seems eager to return if a third film is made, telling Digital Spy in April 2023, I think I'd come back, oh definitely, yes, even without Lady Grantham. Due to scheduling conflicts, Matthew Good did not appear in the sequel, and the film made up for his absence by hinting at troubled waters in Henry and Mary's relationship, which could be a plot point for a threequel, if they can get their schedules to line up. Robert James Kohler as Thomas Barrow is a big maybe in the cast. At the end of a new era, Barrow accepts an invitation from Dominic West's guy Dexter to join him in America implying that we won't see West again. Hugh Dancy plays the film's director, Jack Barber, and Laura Haddock plays Myrna Dagliash, a silent film star who adopts an American accent, with Cora's help, and travels to Hollywood to further her career in the talkies. Nathalie Bay and Jonathan Zaka are also unlikely to appear again, as their story concludes with the transfer of the villa to the Crawleys. Downton Abbey 3 Plot how does the second season of Downton Abbey set up a third? If it doesn't, expect that time continues to pass and the Crawleys continue to tick. Depending on the fellow's intentions, we could see the Crawleys struggling to adapt to modernization as World War II approaches. While this may appear to be a rehash of the show's plot with World War I, the later conflict was much more immediately felt and seeing how the family navigates the potential physical harm to their loved ones and home may be the type of story that fans would enjoy. Downton Abbey's success has always been built on the interpersonal dynamics, aka drama, of its characters, and it's just as likely that we will see Mary and Henry's marriage struggle as the central plot point of a third film. Hugh Bonneville, star of Downton Abbey, thinks about what kind of storylines a third film would have if it ever happened. Hugh Bonneville muses on the potential storylines for Downton Abbey 3 sequel. 
Downton Abbey, the beloved British drama, made its feature film debut in 2019. Downton Abbey was able to recapture the magic of what came before by returning with the same ensemble as the television show, grossing an impressive $194.7 million worldwide. Downton Abbey, A New Era, the sequel, was released in theaters this past May. And while it didn't generate as much buzz at the box office, it received positive reviews from fans and critics alike. Many people are wondering whether the upstairs and downstairs residents of Downton Abbey will return for another big screen outing. As of now, no official announcements about Downton Abbey 3 have been made. Before the release of A New Era, series creator Julian Fellows addresses the possibility of a third film, stating that he would be fine if the franchise had officially ended. Simultaneously, Fellows stated that if the cast and fans desired more, he could find another story to tell. In a recent interview with Screen Rant, Bonneville expressed his thoughts on a possible Downton Abbey 3 sequel. Bonneville portrayed patriarch Robert Crowley in both the series and its two spin-off films. While the actor expresses his doubt that a third film will be made, he does offer some ideas for where the story could go, including what might entail for Robert. According to Bonneville, this is a fictitious world because I don't believe there will be another. I've been hoping for it for a while. We're all up for it, so let's go. But I think it's probably run its course now, and we've been visiting this family on and off for the past 12 years. But I believe that enough is enough. I'm not sure where it would go if it kept going. We'd be in 1929 if each of the last few iterations took place roughly within a year, or during a year. What happens next? It's the Wall Street crash, and the merriment of the 1920s is coming to an end. As a result, it could be quite depressing. I'm not sure. And what about Robert? So he's going to die? So a good death would be good. According to the Downton Abbey timeline, a third film would concede with a rather dark period in history. The television show covered events such as the Titanic sinking and, to a much greater extent, World War I. Downton Abbey, a new era, on the other hand, was able to have fun with its time period because it was set in the 1920s. Bonneville points out that if Downton Abbey 3 continued in the timeline, it would end up in gloomy territory. However, there is a case to be made that watching people go through difficult times, such as Lady Mary, could provide new drama. Though the Crowleys have dealt with financial issues in the past, the 1930s economic crash would be new territory for them. In Downton Abbey 3, Bonneville also addresses the possibility of Robert dying. Some may disagree with them on this point. Regardless of the time gap between films, Lord Grantham is still many years away from dying naturally. Unless Bonneville wants his character to leave abruptly, like Matthew or Sybil, he will be present in Downton Abbey 3. Fans would be devastated by his death, and not just because a new era said goodbye to his mother, the iconic Dowager Countess. Still, if Bonneville is ready to call it quits on Downton Abbey, this could be the final chapter. Only time will tell for sure. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.